After selling their Gold Coast investment pad, Jules Robinson and Cameron Merchant, former stars of Married at First Sight, took home a cool $150,000. The charming two-bedroom, two-bathroom property in Mermaid Beach was bought by the glamorous pair, who first met on the Channel 9 show in 2018, for $700,000 three years prior. Situated inside the Diamond Sands residential complex, the apartment is minutes away from Nobby's Beach. After the recent transaction, Robinson, 43, and Merchant, 40, upgraded the effective beach home, which was soon put up for rental at $690 per week. Realestate.com reports that the house has been leased since a $2,760 bond was used to secure it. The apartment has a wide patio off the main living space and a spacious open-plan concept. A walk-in wardrobe is available in the spacious master bedroom, and there's also a contemporary kitchen with lots of storage. Constructed in 1994, the Diamond Sands residential property was formerly a caravan park and now features villas, townhouses, and apartments. The complex, which has a swimming pool in the lagoon style and is surrounded by palm trees, provides inhabitants with resort living. Among the most successful pairs to emerge from married at first sight are Robinson and Merchant. Additionally, the glitzy couple has maintained a prominent real estate portfolio. The couple, who are residents of Sydney's North Shore, bought a house in March 2022 on the Gold Coast. Situated in the highly sought-after Broadbeach Waters neighborhood, the couple lavished $3.65 million on the expansive property including six bedrooms and five bathrooms. Oliver was born in September of the same year that the couple, who got married in November of 2019 and acquired their beachfront Sydney property in Cromer for $1.8 million in 2020, welcomed their son. The couple revealed they were expecting their second child in February. In an interview with Stellar magazine, Robinson expressed their happiness. Our three-and-a-half-year-old son Ollie and I have been trying since he was a baby. If it doesn't happen, we will look at IVF, she said, as we prepared for 2024.